Good evening, fellow collectors. December 8th, 2008. Uh, a chilly night here in New Jersey. So, of course, I got the wood burning stove going. It's like 21 degrees outside. But anyway, in tonight's installment, we're going to go over some of the completed auctions from the Coach's Corner auction site that ended December 5th, 2008. And let me make one point. And that is that, of course, Coach's Corner labels themselves as the premier sports auction site. They also claim they are a family-run business that's been in the business for 20 years and they claim they've sold over 1 million items. Well, if they label themselves as a premier sports auction site, how can they allow some of the items that I'm going to show you go up for auction? They should know the difference. Whether they plead ignorance or not is kind of irrelevant to a degree because the bottom line is that the stuff that I see on that site for the most part the photographs of autographs are just total garbage total forgeries now I'm going to show you a tiny tiny fraction of what's on that auction site uh, believe it or not they actually ran auctions with no photographs that people still bid on how can you bid on an autograph without looking at it okay that seems really ridiculous to me but let's go over some of the completed auctions and I will show you some 100% forgeries. Now this one really amazes me. This is lot number 839 of this fake Derek Jeter autograph. This garbage sold for $318. The COA, Showcase Authentics. I've never seen anything from Showcase Authentics that is authentic. Who paid $318 for that forgery? That is really, real. I mean, that's incredible. How about this lot 806? Sold for $50. A Derek Jeter and No More Garcia Parra autographed print. Imagine two autographs from two great players like that for only $50. The price of $50 reflects the fact that it is a fake. Here's one. Lot number 327, sold for $55. Can you imagine a Derek Jeter and Alex Rodriguez autographed baseball only selling for $55? And let me make one other point. Whoever is consigning this particular baseball is consigning a lot of the forgeries on the Coach's Corner auction site. The same person is forging signatures like these, Albert Pujols, uh, Hank Aaron, um, pretty incredible, but it's one consigner that's doing that. But can you imagine an A-Rod Jeter autograph baseball only going for $55? How about this lot, $4.96, that ended at $74. A Derek Jeter autograph batting helmet. $74 on a batting helmet? Again, the price reflects the fact that it is a forgery. Um... This one is really incredible. I can't believe people are bidding on crap like this. Lot number 312. Autographed baseball of Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Mariano Rivera. Look at that crap. $57 was the final bid price. Again, that reflects the ugliness of these autographs. Total forgeries. Let's get to lot number 455. A Derek Jeter autograph on a replica home plate, I believe. Lot 455, $39. Can you imagine a real Derek Jeter autograph of any kind going for only $39? I'm, I tell you the truth, I don't even know how it got that high. That is a total waste of ink. Here's a doozy. This one is up on the Coach's Corner auction site every month. This is lot number 287. Somebody paid $145 for this forgery. COA Playboy Authentics. They've sold thousands of forgeries like this, and they've been all over the internet. As a matter of fact, if you look on Overstock.com, there's a seller named Quality Sports Investments. He used to be on eBay as Howie Dog. He sells a lot of Playboy Authentics forgeries. $145 for that 100% forgery. Uh, let's go to a different player. Let's go to lot 378. 
Albert Pujols autographed bat for $121. A real Albert Pujols autographed bat is going to go for at least eight, nine hundred over a thousand dollars. This went for $121, which again reflects the fact that it is a Albert Pujols forgery. Um, here we go again. Lot number 372, Alex Rodriguez, autographed bat. This went for $34. Can you imagine a real Alex Rodriguez autographed bat going for only $34, $34 excuse me. And uh, again, a waste of ink and bat. And last tonight, since we are running out of time, is a lot of six Hank Aaron autographed baseballs. That's that cone consigner I was referring to before. Well, he also forged these. This is lot number 305. Six Hank Aaron autographed baseballs, $75. Can you imagine six Hank Aaron autographed baseballs going for a total of $75? Six complete forgeries, all forged by the same person. Now, I could go on and on and on, because uh, there are a ton of forgeries out there that just completed on the Coach's Corner auction site. And uh, like I mentioned before, there are even more auctions that ended that had no photographs that people still bid on. Many from Playboy Authentics, uh, Showcase Authentics, uh, from this consigner, I would probably believe they didn't want it. There were, there's a ton of Lou Gehrig uh, fake autographs, Babe Ruth, etc., etc. So uh, hopefully the word's getting around because maybe it is. You know why? Because I notice that every month the prices for this stuff, as bad and as fake as they are, are getting lower and lower. So maybe the word's getting around. So uh, until next time, I will talk to you later.